I think we just work well together, even though we don't get a lot of practice time. We both look for each other. The high low has been good for us so far. And it's a lot easier in terms of rebounding, as long as we can get up and down the floor with a quick fours in the league, I'm, I think we should be right. And foul trouble, obviously, is the big question mark about playing both of you guys together. Um, yeah. you, you did foul out today, yeah. but um, foul trouble is an emphasis? Yeah, we always, we always get the speech that we need to stay out of foul trouble. And uh, in the second half, unfortunately, um, got a couple of quick fouls, but it's obviously a concern. But as long as we get through that first half, relatively, you know, just almost foul free, then usually we'll, we should be able to play together most of the second. And do you prefer to play alongside him or as the five? Um, I prefer playing with him just because I think it's it's just like an easier game. Um, he's a great rebounder, and I think we just work well together. But I don't mind either way. Um, like I said. We just work well together, and I mean, so far it's been good. Kendall, when, when uh, Kendall didn't start against South Dakota State, things got off to a rocky start. Uh, what was different this time for you guys? Probably just um, that experience, you know, um, to be able to handle that adversity. You know, we've learned from that. And while guys are out, it's, um, guys have got to step up when that happens. And I think against South Dakota State, we were affected by it. But tonight we did a good job of um, being through that experience before and knowing how to handle it a little bit better. Cam, did you, uh, did you start with the, the idea that you, know, you wanted to be a force on the offensive end? Yeah, I mean, I, of course, with Kendall out and um, and Chad out too, you know, those two starters out, so everyone's got to step up. Um, but basically, just looking for, I mean, just playing the game really, and the opportunities were there. My teammates did a good job finding me the ball early on. and. I mean, it just went from there. Has it been a long time since you've had a half like that first half? Um, yeah, it was, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Were you expecting to be able to be such a dominant force down low in the first half? Was that something you'd seen on game film that you were able to exploit that? Or was that something you just kind of stuck with the game? Yeah, they were supposed to start instead of Upshaw, uh, another 6-8. So the plan, the game plan was to get down low inside early because Alex was supposed to have a 6-8 guy on him, but they started Upshaw, but uh, still had a 6-7 guy on me and um, was able to take advantage of it to begin with. Uh, I figure since uh, one of our players, uh, Kendall Williams, he sat out, he couldn't play, I had to step up my game, make sure I had to uh, make, make sure I step my game up a little bit to help get a win. Yeah, I try to be aggressive, you know, try to not rely on one thing, just try to try to do multiple things out there on the court. If they pressure me, I try to, like, drive them and make plays. How much of a distraction is to not have a starter there because he's like... Oh, it's definitely a distraction, but, you know, we, we uh, as a team had to, like, try to put that behind us and focus on what we had now and, uh, and you know, tell the players to step up, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I was his roommate. I just talked to him. I was like, you know, don't worry about it. We we're gonna overcome this. Just just come back, you know, the next day, and you know, bounce back. Tony, what does it mean for this team to be two and zero in league play right off the bat when you guys usually have slow starts? Oh, we just try to defend home, so that's definitely a good thing being two and zero. But at the same time, we have to defend home, so we're just trying to get better every day. <laughs> yeah, every time you move with me, you know, he always in here on time, but, you know, when we back home, we got to, like, check up on him, make sure he gets wherever he wants to go on time. What is it like for you as a player, you know, for your teammates to be running late? What is that like for you? Well, it's kind of disappointing, but, you know, I just, I just have to, you know, get that behind me and, and step up my role, so that's about it. Yeah, we, we just try to, you know, be aggressive. We just try to make sure that we're up by a lot by the second half, you know, so we just try to maintain the lead, try to make them not have confidence to come back. The first half was probably one of the most dominant shooting forms that you guys have had this season. What was different as far as our shooting goes in the first half compared to the game? Well, with concentration, we just have to punch first, you know, make sure that, you know, we, we send a message because, you know, they're just – 
new to our league, so we had to send a message to him that it's not going to be an easy game. Oh, yeah, it's definitely different because there's two bigs out there, and both of them are really good down low, and they definitely work together in the post presence, you know, high, low, and low, high, and they both they both get rebounds for us too, so it's definitely good. Tony, road wins are probably going to be maybe not rare but tough this year. How important is it for you guys to come out and have the same kind of effort you had today when you guys go up to Boise on Wednesday? It's definitely going to be tough. You know, we got to keep our heads up and uh, – just try to just get better every day and just get prepared for a war away from home because we're not gonna get we probably won't have as many calls but we got to just overcome that and just play our, play our best hopefully get a win.